Alright guys, this morning's SolidWorks quick tip is how to flip your sketch, flip normal on a face. So this is a bit of a hack, this is not something that SolidWorks has implemented and is not part of their capability set just yet. However, this is a workaround and uh, will get you what you need when you want to flip your sketch over on a face. So we'll get started here and I, I mocked up a scenario that you might encounter or something similar. So what we have down here is we have these um, the swing arm attachment points. Obviously these are ultra simplified, um, not based around anything in particular, but we have these quote unquote um, lightning holes. Um, they're uh, weight saving holes you could call them and we're, I'm going to roll back past this mirror real quick and uh, fill it this sharp edge no. no there we go and then we'll roll down past the mirror um, and so what I want to do I've decided I want those holes to go through the top as well so for right now, I could just um, extrude the other direction and not worry about it. That's not um, typically how I, I, I don't want, right now the sketch sits on this inside face, you know, and for, there will be a number of reasons why this can happen. It doesn't always happen like this, but this was the only way that I could find to illustrate the situation. So if I go ahead and I open this sketch right now, one of the things that I don't like is just from a view position I don't like that I'm looking through tubing obviously I could I could slice it and do a bunch of crap and get down to where I could see the sketch but I just don't like this view uh, of the sketch and if you're particular and, and you want to keep things we'll call a uh, quote-unquote clean um, you're not going to like this either. It's looking from the top through all the material and it's, it's just not, uh, to me, a good way of doing it. So yeah, you can hack your way through it. I could add a cut the other direction and that, that would be fine. But what I really want to do is I want to move this to this face here and that'll present its own set of problems. So we're going to do that real quick. And what we're going to do is we're going to move this face. We're going to edit the sketch plane from here to here. And so great. Now we have our sketch on this side. Cuts going the wrong direction. That's not a huge deal. We're going to ignore that for now. We're going to go into edit the sketch and we're going to hit normal too. So what you'll notice now is we're still looking from the top. Our normal's wrong. I want to be on, I want my normal to be facing the other direction and it's not like there's a button in SOLIDWORKS to do this so here's the hack what I'm gonna do is so first of all I found out that you can't do this when you've constrained to an edge so unfortunately what I need to do is write these numbers down or remember them or whatever and I need to delete the constraint the constraints that attach this sketch in some way to the um, to the model edge itself and we're these tie it to these edges so now we have the sketch it still has most of its um, information we're just missing location from the edges what we're going to do is we're going to go under tools sketch tools and there's this modify command down here uh, and you know what I'll do I'll step back and show you what happens if I didn't do that so let me undo that real quick that would be enough Let's go to Tools, Sketch Tools, and go to Modify. So if you if the sketch is connected in some way, it'll give you this. A warning that says a sketch with external references to model geometry cannot be translated or rotated. So okay, um, what that means is I'm still connected to a part of the actual um, edge geometry. So right now the only connection we have to the model is it's attached to this face. It's the sketch face. So now we're going to go back, we're going to go to Sketch Tools, we're going to go to Modify, and it's going to bring up this little arrow. And it's really hard to see, but if you can see, um, there's a little mouse next to my cursor, and it, I can move this, I can uh, move this sketch around, or this, this orientation around. Um, I can grab one of these and move the sketch. But what we're interested in, if I, if I, um, 
Let's see, where is it? Is it that one? Yeah. So, if I float over this node, you'll see that the, the um, little icon, the little mouse icon changes as you float over different things. What we're wanting to do is flip this sketch over 180 degrees on the plane itself. So, it'd be like if you took a spatula, picked the sketch up, and flipped it over like a pancake. So, we're going to right click when I'm over this node, and it's going to flip the sketch over. And then we're going to go ahead and reassign our um, edge information here. So, we'll get this back to 1875. And then we're going to get this uh, quarter inch 25 from the top. And we're going to go ahead and hit OK. Now, if I go back into my sketch here, and I hit normal to, now my sketch is flipped over. I'm not looking from the top anymore. My normal has flipped over for the sketch. And so I'm actually, my normal, I'm looking from the bottom up through that, through that bracket. And uh, this may not have been the best example I could find, but this, this absolutely will be necessary at times when you're, when you're modeling. So we'll go ahead and invert this uh, cut extrude. We'll get it going the other direction through all. And we just want to change the direction it's cutting. Uh, I'm only allowing it to cut the bracket itself. And now everything's flipped over. We've got our speed holes or our lightning holes um, uh, through both components like I wanted them. And they actually start from the bottom. Uh, I don't like how close that top hole is to the edge. So we'll go with um, 0.3. And we'll go with 0.375. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And so um, fill it. Sorry, I'm going to fix that fillet real quick. Get that edge too. That gonna, yeah, that doesn't like that. I have to flatten it out. Um, so that's our bracket. And then I mirrored it over afterwards. So all the things I do over here get picked up on this side. So guys, that's a hack. That's a way to flip the normal over when you're sketching and you're on a face and you have, and it's not a plane, but it's a face and you need to flip it over. And maybe you need to move the sketch to another surface. So gives you some form of uh, dynamic movement. Gives you the ability to flip your sketch over. Guys, I hope this helps someone and I'll talk to you later.